Hey guitar fans, Gospel Guitarist here, back with another video, and this one's going to address my, how to hook up a acoustic through a DI on stage, but I've had questions on where do you place your effects boxes. I've had that over and over again, so I thought I'd make a video. It's a very simple procedure, but I'll explain why. Um, First off, uh, we have a cable, and you're going to need a few cables. You're going to need your guitar cable, which of course would be a lot longer. And your patch cable between your effects boxes, however many you have. I'm using one effects box and one DI here. You'll need access to a snake cable. It's probably already provided if you're working on stage. If you have your own mixer set up on stage, you'll need uh, like a 25 foot, whatever you need for length for your XLR cable to go to the mixer. Otherwise, it's going to be a 100 foot snake going to front of house if you're playing a bigger venue and you'll take one end of it and plug in there, whatever channel they hand to you. And your cable going to your guitar. So first thing that we do is we plug in our guitar And then just run into the effects unit that you're using. This could be a stomp box. It could be several stomp boxes. It could be acoustic processors that they make nowadays. And if you do get one of those acoustic processors, um, they usually have a DI output on the back. And all the outputs you'll see on an XLR connector like this with three prongs on it, that is this box. So you won't need this. You'll just plug this straight into your processor to go to the front of the house or your own mixer that you provide on stage. So once you have your desired pedals in place, you'll run the last output from the last pedal. In this case, I'm running an Art um, Z Direct box. These don't cost very much and they're pretty reliable. I've had three of them and they're still going. Of course, I'm not doing live audio anymore, but plug it into the one that says output. You also have another one that says input through. The input through, you will come out of that using another cable. And it's this side that you will run the other end of your guitar cable into your guitar amplifier input. So all the box is doing is just passing this guitar line through the box as if it's not even there straight to your amplifier the way you would normally plug in. Now the reason you want the effects in front of the DI box or running the DI box last out of your group is because what this does other than passing your low Z signal to your amplifier from your guitar you're also running to the front of the house through a snake or a long cable to your you know, mixer on stage. So if the box is placed after this box, after the DI, then what's going to happen is your guitar signal is going to be going into the input of the DI. You're going to come out of the DI, for example, just say you wired it up this way for some reason because you didn't know. So you just figure, well, that's a pass through. I'll just go into my effects after the DI box, right? So you go into your effects, run out of your effects straight to your amplifier, right? That'll work, and it will work. As far as what you're hearing out of your amp, it's the same. But you're taking the feed before your effects. So you're just going to have a dry guitar signal going through this line to the front of the house. You won't hear any of your effects at all. So you want to place your effects before this box. So you're going to run through all of your effects first. Run them in. Then run it to your amp with the through. Now you get your effects passing through the box into your amplifier. 
and that's really is all that's all there is to it it's just like an electric guitar but you know most of the time with electrics we don't use a di um but for acoustics we do a lot and this could be a little mini board you know i have a huge patch <laughs> huge board here for for my use and i would never haul this heavy thing around but you know if i had just a little acoustic board like this and i had you know i'd probably put a compressor chorus delay and maybe a reverb and then this so i'd have this you know five or six pedal board that'd be it and it just goes right through the signal chain in a straight line so i hope you have that i hope that helps you guys out um because a lot of you seem to be concerned with using pedals and effects units with a with a di and that's all there is to it so like i say if you if you do have an effects unit make sure you don't have a di built into it already because that just makes it easier you don't need this box and these are not powered um, unless you get an active one this one's passive you do not need a powered one so i hope that's helpful and remember to subscribe and if you have any more questions about di's how they work um, i have other videos also for bass guitars so check those out so continue playing have a good time that's the end all of it is to have a good time and enjoy yourself not be frustrated with all this stuff <laughs> that's why i make these videos so have a good day remember to hit the like button subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching